So my village continuing to document my story. On Friday, people, I was so depressed and indoors and scared of what was happening because Satan was busy manufacturing evil against me. And when I saw where my son was at, I decided, you know what, I better exit this place. I can't afford to let the devil get its way. And I went to Miss H's house, because she said I could come anytime I want. And believe me, people, I'm not saying this to be negative. I'm just saying this, that I see where Miss H is at. She's without hope. And I have to be telling stories for women. Miss H is younger than my youngest son. So I have to be telling stories for her and her son. So I can break this cycle. I didn't go back indoors until late, late. I just couldn't face going home. And eventually I went home. Throughout the night I cried sometimes and I asked God, I remonstrated with God and I said, God, why are you doing this to me? People, the next day I got up and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pick myself up. I had my bath and then Ras Hapa called. My son fixed me some breakfast, Ras Hapa called. I let my son listen to what Ras Hapa was saying. And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to get out. I'm going to go to Rastafari, birth like black perspective. And this is the start. So today I'm sat in Peckham. I sat in Peckham. And I just saw Sharon pass. Sharon and I used to work at King's. So she's taken my number. So hopefully she links me up. And I can get somebody to help me tell the story from where I'm coming from at King's. So that's my brother sitting there beside me, offering to me money to go get some food. He's so kind. It's people like these who give me hope. Yeah? That things will change.